Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to start working on the right side. We are halfway through this. I don't think we've pulled the secret rare yet, which there are two. I had to double check that. And I did double check the black memory boost, where the new one, the pride memory boost, I think it's called, uh, lets you check the top three cards. And then you get to play one with a four play cost or less. Uh, the black memory boost is you reveal the top four cards of your deck. And you get to add one black Digimon to your hand, which I would prefer between the two. Otherwise, our effects are exactly the same. Starting out with Tuskmon. Eismon Scatter Mode. Oh. I, did, I thought that these were like shadows of this one. Or something else, like this one kind of looks like a Lady Devmon silhouette. Uh, but no, it's actually more Eismon, it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Deadly Axemon. We still haven't found Nightmon. Metal Kabuterimon. Kumamon. Have we seen... We're going to go over this one. I don't remember if we've seen him or not. Plus, I've got Tommy right off the side. He's got a 5 play cost, a 2 Digivolution cost, 4,000 DP, uh, same hybrid tamer effect, and when Digivolving, trash one card from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. I believe we have seen him. Uh, the fact that it's just when Digivolving it affects, uh, rather than like uh, it has to be from a tamer, I like that. So this one's splashable into regular blue style. Monotamon, Huckmon, Depenmon, Aldemon, we haven't seen him yet. He is an 8 play cost, a 3 Digivolution cost, 8,000 DP. When one of your Digimon with a Tamer in its Digivolution cards digivolves into this card from your hand, reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by 2. So same hybrid Tamer effect. Uh, when Digivolving, if a card with hybrid is in its traits... Uh, in this Digimon's Digivolution deck, this Digimon gets plus 4,000 DP for the turn. So that second effect doesn't proc if it is uh, a Tamer. So that's interesting. And then Inherited Effect, your turn, while this Digimon has Hybrid or 10 Warriors in its traits, it doesn't activate Security Effects on Option Cards it checks. I like that a lot. Uh, I don't know how OP that is, because normally a deck is going to have only like 10 option cards, roughly. Like, the Diaboramon deck that I built only has 6 option cards. So I like that it's not proccing them, but how useful is that in the long run, really? Oh. Rhino Kabuterimon. Metal Cannon. Is a two play cost uh, main. Choose one of your Digimon with X antibody in its traits, then draw one for each of that Digimon's Digivolution cards. And security effect, add this card to its owner's hand. For two play costs, I could see playing this as a one or two. Uh, for obviously only for like an X antibody deck. Like it's, it's again pigeonholes, but for the deck, I could definitely see playing one or two. Susanna Woman. Ooh, it's a secret rare. That's cool. So it is a 15 play cost, and it's something we've never seen before, but that Digivolution can come from any color. And that that's interesting. Uh, I definitely enjoy that. This guy can be splashed into any of the decks, not just red like it was in the show, or I guess... What was it? Uh, red or... Black? Purple? Like, like I'm having trouble seeing which card, uh, hold on. Because in the show it was the red one, yeah, okay, so, something I didn't notice, uh, and something that's different with the other ones, is that we get two blue tamers this set. So that's interesting. Uh, so yeah, 
So unlike in the show where he was like directly from uh, Red and Blue, I think it was, where they combined this guy. Uh, he can come from any of them. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Uh, so he's 15 play cost, 7 digital cost, 15,000 DP. And then, uh, let's get in a little close for that. You may digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your tamers as if the tamer was a level 6 Digimon by placing 10 tamer cards and and or cards with hybrid in their traits from your hand and or trash at the bottom of your deck in any order. Security attack plus two. When digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. All right, so I definitely like this guy uh, for just being able to put onto a tamer. Uh, he's, you still have to play the seven memory cost, which is pretty high, but like his effects, those are great. Especially with uh, placing more cards at the bottom of your deck, that's going to help you to like mill your opponent. Um, that said, this guy would have to be a late game play for that. Because you need to have at least 10 cards in your uh, graveyard. Slash hand. So I guess you could do it from early. It would just take a lot of resources out of your hand. Uh, built in the right deck, I could see it being very useful. Otherwise, maybe one. I do like that it could be put in literally any color deck. That is that is neat. And uh, yeah, it's got some textured. Like the waves are textured. Oh, okay. I thought we were missing shiny, but uh, the metal cannon is actually shiny. It's hard to tell. But there we go. We've pulled the secret. And that was the first pack with the right side. Which technically would be the fourth pack of the right side because I pulled backwards. Thunder Laser, Flame Memory Boost, Bulkmon, Swartz Lahasarat, King Waymon, Gutsumon, Grumblemon, Nihogmon, Kapurimon, Electric Rush, Ancient Mega Therimon. Uh, he is a 13 play cost, a 5 Digivolution cost, 13,000 DP. When Digivolving for each card with hybrid in its traits in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Uh, thought my phone freaked out there for a second. Trash one Digivolution card uh, from the bottom of each of your opponent's Digimon. Then for each Digimon your opponent has with no Digivolution cards, draw two. On deletion, you may play one blue level four or lower. Yeah, my phone's going crazy for a second. Uh, you may play one blue level four or lower card with hybrid and its traits uh, from your hand without paying its memory cost. Sorry again, my phone's doing some weird stuff. I uh, hope that's not affecting the capture. Uh, so what do I think of this guy? I think if you're building a blue hybrid deck, this is going to be a must. Um, even if there's only some... Like, if you're not building a full hybrid deck, but you've got a fair amount of them, this guy is definitely going to be worth it. Because, like, if you have the level... What would it be? The level, uh... I think... I think if you put Starbeam on it, that, that would allow you to put 3, 4, and 5 underneath it. Uh, oh, yes, and with Slight Evolutions, like, woof. Yeah, with all that, if you could get that going, like being able to trash 3 Digivolution cards from underneath uh, opponents, and then you get to draw 2 for each, like, that's going to give you some good hand power, uh, and that would allow you to 
spark off you force vidramon and stuff so this guy definitely good in the right deck and we got uh kazuchimon who is uh pulsemon's like ultimate good form because uh, there is a different one uh, i'll let you guys discover that if you uh have the vital brace or go check out my vital brace video uh, he is a 12th play cost, a 5 digivolution cost, 12,000 DP. When digivolving, if you have 3 or more security cards, gain 2 memory. If you have 2 or fewer security cards, uh, you may recover plus 1 until there are 3 cards in your security stack. Uh, your turn while you have 3 or more security cards, this Digimon gains security attack plus 1. This is a really good one in my opinion. Like that is... That is outrageous good. Uh, mainly because, like, recover plus one from your deck until you have three cards. Uh, that means, like, you could have no security and then play this guy down and recover three from the top of your deck, making half of your opponent's uh, plays useless. So, yes, I this guy's really nice. I definitely like it uh, for that recovery ability. Next pack. Right side's treating us good. The Rugamon. Blue Hawaii Death. Giga Storm. Saber Leomon. Oof. Mess that up. Brave Metal. Kendo Gururumon. Bouchmon. Ancient Volcanomon, Zephyrmon, Fire Drake Strike. I don't think we've seen this one. Four play cost. Uh, main, choose one of your Digimon with hybrid and its traits. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to the chosen Digimon. Uh, and the security effect is you may play one. Takuya Kanebara from your hand or trash without paying its memory cost. In a hybrid deck, this is a good card. Outside of that, basically useless. Um, the idea of choosing a Digimon with hybrid in its traits and delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than that, uh, I believe Sosanoamon counts as hybrid. Uh, let's double check that real quick. He's right off to the side. No, he's not. He counts as a shaman, not as hybrid. So that's interesting. So that puts a little damper on it. Um, so I think it's an already card. Then we got Zo Orimato. A three play cost, a security card. Uh, on play, you may search your security stack for one card with hybrid or ten warrior in its traits. Reveal it and add it to your hand. If you added a card to your hand, recovery plus one from the deck. Then shuffle your security stack. I I like this one. Uh, I'm not sure how worthy of a play it is. All right, and inherited effect. Uh, all of your security Digimon. Uh, get plus 3,000 DP. Uh, like, I like it. Because it does alleviate that worry of, like, what if my playmaker's in my security stack? Um, and you do actually... This is one of the things I was going back to Leo Mon, where, like, if there is a way to put him from your hand into the deck so that then he could come out and then be put out, uh, that allows combos with that. I'm just not sure how much I like it over the old uh, ones. And there's Dark Knight Mon. There's one with Knight Mon in its name. He's a 7 play cost, a 3 digivolution cost. On play, you may play 1 Skull Knight Mon and or 1 Deadly Axe Mon from your hand or trash under this Digimon's digivolution cards in any order. All turns, when this Digimon is deleted, you may play 1 Skull Knight Mon... Uh, Skull Knight Mon and or Deadly Axe Mon, Mon from this Digimon's Digivolution cards uh, suspended 
without paying their memory costs. And no inherited effect. Uh, yeah, no, I like it. I, I'm not sure how good it is, but the idea that, you be, that you're able to pull resources from the trash and put it underneath him, and then when he's deleted, uh, you can play one Skull Nightman and or one Deadly X-Mon from the Digivolution cards back out. Uh, that's pretty good. And it doesn't specify, like, how it's deleted, so I like that. Because a lot of early... Uh, hold on a second, let me get a quick sip of water. While I rip open this last pack. A lot of early uh, card games, uh, they, they're very specific in how effects happen when they're deleted. So, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! would be like... Uh, like the vampire cards, it was it was very specific when it's like when deleted by an opponent's uh, effect. So not battle has to be by effect. Dark Knightmon, literally any way that it's defeated, whether it's your opponent's, whether it's yours, you just get to proc its ability, and I like that. So starting off, we got Ghostmon, Kazemon, Tortamon, Eismon, Brachiomon. Lorimon, Triceramon, uh, off center again, uh, Mugen, we haven't seen this one, it is a four play cost, uh, main suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, that Digimon doesn't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase, and security effect, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, I like it, it goes with, uh, the green play style, again, I would like to see some official pack they come out with where it is tokens or like dice which you can flip over to different sides and be like all right well this one doesn't as a spend for the next turn like official symbols that'd be nice uh but yeah this this would definitely be a good two off i'd say uh rahinimon didn't say that one right dorimon jp we've seen him and Metal Cannon, we've seen that one. All right. So those are the four for this pack, or for this uh, video. We've done four packs. Uh, so join us next time when we continue the box. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any ideas for what I should do next, leave a comment down below. Uh, if it annoys you that I changed how I said these three things, leave a comment like that down below. Uh, and, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, think about subscribing to the channel. It really does help. Uh, and until then, I will see you next time.